daytime exclusive with HGTV stars Tarek and Heather Ray El Musa. I've got to jump in. Up, we went to the commercial break. You were talking about the throes of you know drinking and the painkillers to deal with the pain and testosterone. Your body is in a spiral. You're mentally really um, in a dark space. The headline that shocked so many of your fans was in 2016. You were still married to Christina at the time. And I want to read what you wrote in the book about the 911 call that she made uh, and police um, were involved in seeing this handgun. You said, looking back, I can see why Christina was concerned in the weeks leading up to that terrible day. My mental health was as bad as it had ever been, but ending my life was just something I would not have done. Six months later, you and Christina announced that your marriage was over. You described immediately after being in a physical and emotional hell. The way you present yourself was a HGTV happy <laughs> story. And then the world sees this headline about you, a gun, mm -hmm. and your ex-wife being terrified. People thought you were trying to take your life. Yeah, well, that's because that's how the, the headlines were spun. So what happened was we lived in Yorba Linda, California, and we had Chino Hill State Park behind us, which is a huge, like, just open range of hills and mountains. It's a major mountain biking area. I had just got my California concealed carry, which means I went through all the schooling and the classes and the training to legally carry a gun. Like, I could carry a gun to the grocery store in California. So I took it with me hiking because there's big wildlife back there. So I'm just on a hike, and next thing I know is I hear whoo, 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 and I see this helicopter, and, and I think, oh, I hope, there, I hope there's not a fire, <laughs> right? I'm like, I'm out here alone. Oh, there's not a fire. And then next thing I, I look and they're circling me and I'm like, what's going on? Next thing I know, I see a, a, a firearm pointed at me and they're screaming at me. And I'm like, oh, oh wrong guy, what's going on? Right. So they're screaming at me and I don't know what's going on. And then I realize, and I look and I see dust clouds all around and 11 sheriffs came, circled me. They had me at gunpoint. And then one of the, the, the officers goes, Tarek? And I said, yeah, I'm the guy, the TV guy, the house guy, what are you guys doing, man? Yeah. And then they put their guns down, you know, and then they walked over and they said they got a call about a, a suicidal male. Um, mm -hmm. I said, are you sure it was for me? <laughs> um, yeah, and it, and it was for me. So at no point were you in the mental spiral that was reported? Oh, I was in a mental spiral. But not to the but point. But not looking to hurt myself. Not looking to hurt my, myself. My, my mental spiral was affecting me to the point where I needed to go be alone and go for a hike and blow off steam and get out energy and sweat and be alone for some time, not to hurt myself. I got babies, not gonna hurt myself. It's not fair to them. <laughs> I think it's amazing that so much time has passed, wounds have healed, that you and Christina are now going to go back in business together. So your ex, her current, your current <laughs> will have a show. Yes. It's a little crazy. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I mean, I, I do think it's a little bit weird that we're having, <laughs> you know, a house flipping competition right. show because they have literally no chance of being. Yeah. I mean, just, they don't. I just wanna put that out there. Um, Could you have ever imagined that? Uh, no. That, like, uh, never, never in my life. I Ever. know exes who can't sit down for dinner together. <laughs> and now we're doing a show and together. And now you're doing a show together. Yeah. It's crazy, but honestly, like, everyone's in such a good place. And we're here to give you guys a great show. Oh. And we're really excited about it. So for a, a long time, Christine and I were known as this. And we went like this, you know, and from going from, you know, as a you know, married couple, you're typically best friends yeah. to like arch enemies, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's how we felt at the time. Yeah. But then as time goes on, you start to think and you start to realize things, right? And what I realized is this. I couldn't imagine growing up in, in a family where my parents were divorced and they hated each other. Because I love my mom. I love my dad. They still, they are divorced, but they still get together. Mm -hmm. We do family dinners, yeah. we do things. And the truth is, let the past be the past yeah. because, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. And Heather, I gotta ask you, 
I mean, when someone you love lays their soul bare, how proud are you of him? I'm so proud. I mean, it's not easy, especially when the whole world is watching and they always have something negative, nasty to say. Yeah. And you, you air everything and you don't know how people are gonna handle it. And he put it all out there and not, didn't care about the negativity. He just wanted to help people. Was it worth it? A hundred percent it was worth it. Yeah. A hundred percent. Thank you so much to Tark and Heather. Be sure to get a copy of this thoughtful and honest memoir. And as he said, so many through lines are relatable to everyone's life. The book is Flip Your Life. And guess what, Tam Fam? Y'all, you already know you're going.